function is this is uh, what uh, So, so this is this particular problem when you consider this is what the problem is. So if I ask you to find out the transfer function y of s by r of s, it will be taking time. And sometimes you know I may be you know interested in finding out the transfer function. Okay. Uh, sometimes you know I will be you know, interested in finding out the transfer function, uh, right? You know, so this is n of s. So this is a plan. This is what the input, right? So output it can be deviated with noises. Okay. So you know, I want to find out how the output is changing with respect to with respect to noise. For that time, what we do? We make it this uh, input. So we use superposition theorem. Superposition theorem means when you are trying to find out the response due to one input, the other uh, input we will consider it as zero. Correct? No. Right. So uh, then, at that time, it will be you know very time-consuming process. So then, what we do is we convert the block diagram into signal flow graph. We using very simple formula. This is one necessity where you have to, you know, convert your block diagram into signal flow graph. So like that, you have n number of problems. Okay, like that, you have n number of problems. Uh, very, you know, complex problems. Means the plants, real-time plants are very complex problem. So now uh, here, you know, uh, if I consider this particular uh, block diagram, right? So this particular block diagram, when you try to consider. So there is, you know, sometimes we need to convert this into so if I ask you to find out the transfer function y of s by r of s, then you will be, you know, uh, splitting the summing point and then you will be moving around here and there, okay. So uh, at that time it will become, you know, very difficult for you. So then sometimes we need to convert block diagram into signal flow graph, right? So then, uh, uh, do you know, uh, did I discuss the uh, for, uh, problem where we can uh, split summing point? Can we sum, uh, uh, split this summing point into two summing points? Did I discuss that? There is one summing point. We can... Uh, split into two. Is it not? So the formula is this. Uh, here, you no. Know, if you have three signals, now let us take you have A signal and you have you have B signal. Okay. Uh, so this 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 signal you can consider it as B coming from here. No problem. B and coming from here, uh, there is one more signal coming from here that is C. Right, so this is minus, this is minus, this is plus. So whatever we are getting here, the signal is A minus B minus C, correct, no? Right, so sometimes if I split this into two, so one summing point I can write like this, where A is coming and B is here. So B is minus. The signal which I am getting here is A minus B. And then I can write one more summing point here where C is also coming here, which is minus. So here I am getting A minus B and here it is, you know, minus. So here A minus B minus C. So we can split this summing point into two. Is it not? Getting. So if I ask you to do uh, for a plants which are having a uh, high com uh, complex uh, transfer function then it will become for uh, it's very difficult for you so block diagram will become time consuming process uh, when you consider uh, a high uh, com uh, high complex problems so now what we do is sometimes you know at that case what we do is we convert this into uh, signal flow graph so when we are considering into signal flow graph there are few rules are there so listen carefully so 
input is what we consider it as a variable or node output we can consider it as a variable or node right rule number 1 input and output we will consider it as node rule number 2 all summing points can be considered it as node right and then all branch points can be considered it as node Okay, all branch points can be considered as okay. Right. So now we can uh, draw the signal flow graph. So here you have input node, then we have one more node here. So we name them. Name them one, two, three, four, five, six. And seven. You can name them the nodes. Right. So one, three, four. So here you have one, two, three. Is one and two. So one and two. The gate you have three and this one only. Right. So two and three. So two and three. The gain is hundred. Three and four. Okay, so three and four. S plus one by S plus two. Right, four and five. So four and five. Ten by. S into S plus two. Sorry, S plus twenty. Right, and five and six. Five and six. Again, is five and six. Yeah, there is one more uh, missed. All branch point also can be considered as summing point. This is five, six, and seven. Right, so five, six, seven. Okay, so five and six, the signal is the same gain. Then there is one more uh, summing point. Right, so this is seven. These are nodes. Now, so this is six. So from six to three, there is a point. Six to three. Six to three. Gain is one. And six to two. Six to two. So here it is minus. So again, you can consider this minus one. This minus one and minus one. So six two three one is there. Six two ah uh, two one more is there. And there is four two two. So there is four two. One more loop is there. This is with minus one. Okay, right? And uh, so here there is one more uh, loop here that is n of s. So n is also one more signal. So that can be considered here as one node. This is n noise. Right, so this is one more. It is considered one more node. Right, so uh, here to here, so here to here, there is this particular point. From here, there is G four of S. So from this point to it is third node. So third node, there is minus G four. It is. 
So here to here gain is one, from here to here gain is one, from here it is gain it is seven. So this is signal flow graph of the given block diagram. So now instead of moving it here and there and all, so once you convert it into signal flow graph, now you are applying passing gain formula and find it out. Okay, input. So here you have input R of S and output Y of S. So you can find out transfer function Y of S by R of S. Or if it is asked a transfer function, so here you have N of S. Okay, so here you have N of S. So N of S by R of S. So uh, 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 Y of S by N of S, I'm sorry. Y of S by N of S. How output is changing to this particular noise is what you can do analysis and you can. So is this clear now, all of you? If I ask you here Y of S by N of S, you will die. R of S you can make it as zero. Okay, R of S you can make it as zero. But now changing everything, you know, moving it here and there and now finding out and simplifying it will take uh, a very time con consuming process. But mass and gain formula helps you out in uh, easily finding out the transfer function. So now if uh, if I want ask if I want Y of T, what you should do? Tell me, two inputs are acting, one is R of S, other one is N of S. If I want Y of S, what is Y of S? How many inputs are acting on the system? How many inputs are acting on the system? Two inputs. Superposition theorem tells you what? Output is summation of individual responses, correct? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So you will be getting your Y of S one time when it is input is given R of S. Plus, you will be getting Y of S when you give your input N of S, correct? No? So these two you will be adding up, right? Yes, sir. Then you take inverse yes. formula transform, then you will be getting the response y of t. Okay. So if you have any questions, you can ask me please now. Conversion of block diagram to signal flow graph. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Is that understood? Yes, sir. So then like that, you know, you try solving all these problems. Okay, so this that's it. That is about the third unit. Okay, so almost the third unit is what we are finishing. How to solve this, you know, how to, you know, once we have this, uh, how to use MATLAB and then solving all these things. I'll be taking special class, but that is not part of our class. Okay, so if you give me any special class, I'll be teaching you the matter. Okay, so I think uh, almost the third chapter is what we finished in the book now. Uh, I think you can go ahead. Okay, so I think you can go ahead now. So individually you can go about the topic. Okay, so you have the block diagrams. Okay, so if it is given, you know, if it is such in a complex system, so like problem number P and 7 and finding out the transfer function. So here all blocks and all need to be done. So then if it is asked the second one, 3, 8, Y of S by R of S, Y of S by E of S, Y of S by N of S, find out could Y of S when R of S and N of S are applied simultaneously. So such kind of problems, you try solving, keep your notebook ready and that will be helpful for you for your uh, any exam, including your if you take electronics as a part of your IA subject too. Okay, so do it now and you will not be getting more complex problems and than this. Right, if, if I ask you, you know, to solve these kind of problems, Y of S by R of S, Y of S by N of S, 
then you know you try doing using block diagram you try doing using signal program in the end you should get the same result at least you are verify that for this problem number p uh, 3p8 okay huh? okay so that is what uh, you can uh, do it so in the next class you know we will be taking up uh, Right, so we will be taking up uh, time response analysis, right, so, so that's all up to this particular, uh, okay, uh, block diagram, signal flow graph, and transfer function, open loop, closed loop, right, so here somewhat the different notation is what he has used, one L11, L21, L31, okay, like that he used, okay, so, but it, it is easy to follow, you can follow it, no problem, so signal flow graphs and now, so this is what we covered okay all right so uh, follow only this book don't follow any other book so you will be solving all the things right so yeah now uh, uh, once you do this i think uh, now we can paper i think but i can give you you know few research papers Tomorrow I'll be showing you this. So anybody collected any papers on this? Anybody? One thing is like one more topic is there that uh, this is what representing physical systems in uh, block diagram and then obtaining transfer function. Another way of thing is uh, all physical systems can be represented in the form of uh, state space representation. So if you want to really, if you are interested in then solve uh, any research problem and then come here and uh, some, uh, do your internship and then get some publications. If that is there in the mind, what I'll be doing, I will not be waiting up to 50 units. So I'll be giving you these points here. If you want me to, you know, like, you know, how a physical system like I, I, I uh, took uh, DC motor and then how it is represented in block diagram is what I gave you. Similarly, if I can take block uh, DC motor and then how it can be represented in a uh, uh, vector matrix differential form, which is a uh, state space representation, so that you will be understanding all the papers means I will be discussing their particular point is that is up to you. So you want me to start time response analysis, I can start up or if you want me to like, you know, here uh, chapter number four is that uh, theoretical foundation in background material modeling of dynamic systems. The block diagrams and signal flow graph is the third unit. Right. So fourth unit is what uh, theoretical model and foundation. So here uh, I think, yeah, here it is what it is given. Uh, the fourth chapter, yeah, we will discuss in sequence what is there. Right, so here you have, you know, any physical system can be taken up and that is represented in the form of uh, vector matrix differential form. And once it is represented in the form of vector matrix differential form, MATLAB stands for matrix laboratory. So once a physical system is available in the terms of matrix, then you can use whatever the matrix uh, uh, that you studied in your mathematics and you can apply it here. And then we will be getting some information from the physical system. All right. So we'll be discussing this particular topic in the next class, so that you will be understanding uh, research papers, and then you can download the research papers, and then you can do it. Is it fine? Yesterday problem itself you are not doing today. Then what about research paper and all you might be thinking? So if you are finding like Really, you can interact with me, sir. We are finding this in Greek and Latin, and all. If you say, then I'll be going much slower. Or if you have any questions you are facing, you can ask me now. You have one minute. You can, you know, you can pose any questions you are facing. And coming to online, at least LKG, UKG, first class, second class, and third class students are doing much better than us. I'm taking my son example only. So their teachers, they are interacting with all the students. All the students have to open their um, uh, 
uh, video and then they can see the student, they can observe the student and then whether they are listening or not also they can see. But here the problem is what? Uh, they are, I think, you know, the school students would be in Hambakonda or Varangal, but you are across India. So that is no only problem, but you know, that can be done, but you are not. Uh, if I ask you to switch on your camera, do you? Do you switch on? So that I can, you know, see your attention, whether you are attending class or not. Do you accept it? Hmm? Varun, you discuss in the class and tell me, okay? So tomorrow we'll be meeting and discussing representing physical systems in uh, state space form or vector matrix differential form. Okay. If you have any questions, you can ask me or otherwise you can uh, move on to your next class. Thank you. If no questions, then thank you, please.